In this video, I'm going to do a stock analysis on Shopify and tell you if I think that this is a stock that you should be buying, holding or selling. So let's check out the stock price first. As you can see in the last six months, this stock is up 23.8%. And if you zoom out over the last five years, this has just been absolutely incredible growth, sitting at 3,215% from 2016 all the way to today. Now, as you can see, the stock is currently trading at $1,437.15. So let's check out the website and see what exactly it is that Shopify does. Now, if you don't know yet, Shopify makes it really easy for you to start a website. And in my opinion, it's probably one of the best platforms to use if you want to start an e-commerce website. It is very simple. They've got really nice templates and they really make it extremely easy. Now, I've been in the online marketing world for probably over 12 years. And when I started out, it was really difficult starting an e-commerce site. You needed to have a lot of capital and you needed to have a lot of technical knowledge in order to start a website. However, with Shopify, this is not the case anymore. And now anyone can basically start a website by using the Shopify platform. As you can see, they allow you to make websites and they've got basically apps for almost every single thing or plugins for every single thing. If you go to the learn section, they also have a really nice section where you can learn anything from starting an online business to marketing your online business and even drop shipping. Now on our website, we also have a free course that you can take if you want to learn more about online business or just stock investing in general. As you can see, we have got a course on retirement planning, stock investing, and then creating an online business. And as you can see, I take you through all the steps in order to create an online business. But that's not all. You will also get access to all our stock sheets of all the stocks we have reviewed up to now and also some amazing calculators that you can use. If you want to sign up for these courses, it is absolutely free of charge. Simply go to the homepage and click on the sign up button now, and then you can just create your profile and get access to all these courses absolutely free of charge. But now getting back to Shopify, now that we understand exactly what they do, and in my course, starting an online business, I actually recommend you use Shopify because, well, it's just so easy to use. Now let's go ahead and look at the business and see where they are generating the revenue from. As you can see, most of the revenues is now coming from the merchant side of things, which is 72%. And that is basically payments and finance. And then you also get the subscription side of things, which makes up 28% of the revenue. As you know, most people that use this is basically small to medium sized businesses. And obviously Shopify helps them by giving them tools to set up websites and then handling the finance and the logistics for the customer. So now that we understand how the business operate and where they're getting their revenue from, let's go check out the basics of this stock first and do a fundamental analysis on the company. As you can see, the stock is trading at $1,437.15 with a market cap of $179.3 billion. Now I like to look at the multiples to see how expensive this stock is compared to the last five years. As you can see, it's actually a little bit undervalued if you look at the PE ratio. So it's sitting at 74.2 versus 394.25 over the last five years. Looking at the price to book, it's sitting at 17.7 versus 15.18. And the price to sales is 47 versus 33.18. The price to cash flow is 337.4 versus 272. And finally, the price to free cash flow is 353, which is very expensive for the price to free cash flow. Now let's go to the fundamentals and check out the revenue first. If you like this video so far, please remember to click that like button below this video. It really helps out our channel a lot. So looking at the revenue, we will see tremendous growth for the revenue, especially from 2020 and during the coronavirus. Obviously, there was a lot of people sitting at home and a lot of people started creating their own websites. So that was really good for Shopify. Now, looking at the earnings per share, we will see that they've actually always been in the negative. And then from 2020, it just went all the way up. So as you can see, the coronavirus once again being really good for them. Now I like to look at the return on equity to see how the company is retaining equity within the company. And for this, I generally have a benchmark of 10%. As you can see in this case, at the moment, it's sitting at 33% and 2020, it was 7%. Before that, it was actually all in the negative. So once again, you can see that tailwind coming from the pandemic. 
Now I'd like to look at the return on invested capital to see how the management is investing the capital for the shareholders. And once again here, I've also got a benchmark of 10%. As you can see at the moment, it's sitting at 30.7%, so well above my benchmark. But as you saw with the return on equity, in 2020, it's sitting at 5.9% and before that, it was actually in the negative. So now I like to look at the margins to see how profitable this business is. And the first thing I obviously look at is the gross margins. Looking at the gross margins, you will see that it's pretty healthy, sitting at 54% at the moment. Then looking at the net margins, you will see in 2018 and 19, it was actually in the negative. However, in 2020, it went into the positive at 11% and currently sitting at a very good net margin of 64%. So absolutely amazing for them. So now I'd like to head over to the operating cash flows, which is the money that they make from their day-to-day -day operations. Once again, you will see that it has been heading in the right direction and just absolutely tremendous growth from 2019 all the way up to the trailing 12 months. Now looking at the free cash flows, which is the operating cash flows minus the capital expenditure, we basically see the same thing. It has been in the negative, but there's been tremendous growth and they have been doing exceptionally well there. So now I'm going to look at the current ratio to see if they have got more current assets than current liabilities. And for this to happen, they need to have a current ratio of one or higher. In this case, with Shopify, you will see that they are very well capitalized, sitting at 16.6, so absolutely exceptional. Now I'm going to head over to the debt to equity ratio to measure the debt against the equity. And for this, I want a company to have a debt to equity ratio of 40% or less. In this case, with Shopify, as you can see, it's sitting at around 10%, so also looking very good. Finally, I'm going to look at the shares outstanding to see if there's any shareholder dilution taking place. And in this case, as you can see, there has been some shareholder dilution. So yes, shareholders are being diluted slightly here with Shopify. So now I'm going to score them down in my 10 point checklist and see how they perform in terms of the fundamentals. Once again, if you like this video, please remember to click that like button below this video. So looking at the 10 point checklist, the current ratio is more than one sitting at 16.55. So very good. The debt to equity ratio only 10%. The revenue have been growing by 54.7%. The return on equity currently is 33.3%. The return on invested capital 30.7%. The free cash flows have been growing by more than 10% compound annual growth and the operating cash flows also. Then looking at the gross margins, it is 54%, net margin is 63.7%, and then the earnings per share have also been growing by more than 10% compounded annual growth over the last four years, which means that they score 10 out of 10 for the fundamentals. So as you can see, the fundamentals looks absolutely amazing, exactly what you want to see in a stock. But you need to keep in mind, they had a lot of tailwind from the pandemic, so it's not necessarily going to be the same going forward. We'll have to see what happens. Now I'm going to head over to the insider activity to see what the insiders are doing. If they are buying shares, it means that they are generally pretty positive about this stock. And if they are selling shares, well, then it's the opposite. So looking at the insider activity, we will see that there has been no buying and selling going on, but total shares held by insiders sitting at 358,000. So nothing to be worried about there, nothing to be concerned about. Now I'm going to head over to the analyst ratings to see what the analysts think about this stock. The analysts, as you can see, are bullish about this stock. They are rating it a 4.07 out of 5. 20 saying they are very bullish, 5 saying they are bullish, 13 being neutral and 2 being bearish. They are predicting a 12 month target of 1724 and currently the price is trading at 1437. So that is the analyst ratings. This brings me to the final part of the video, which is my verdict around the stock. Once again, if you like this video, please remember to click that like button below this video and also click the red subscribe button and the bell icon to be notified whenever we do more videos like this. So looking at the verdict, the fundamentals is 10 out of 10. So absolutely amazing fundamentals, exactly what you want to see in a stock. The insiders are not selling shares, so that is also a good sign. The current price is $1,437.15 and the analyst 12 month target is $1,724.55. Personally, I do feel that this stock is currently a sell. 
So you are probably wondering why I'm rating a sell if the fundamentals are just absolutely amazing and if everything is heading in the right direction. Well, like I have said already, they had a lot of tailwinds from the pandemic. So we don't know if it's going to be the same thing going forward. We'll have to see what happens. However, I do feel that currently you will be overpaying for the stock at the current multiples it's going at. However, I think it's a great business. Like I said, it's an amazing platform. However, I do feel that there's also going to be a lot of competition in the space. But I do like the stock. I do like the company. However, currently, I just feel it's just a little bit too overvalued for me. When it comes to capital allocation, I think there are better options at the moment in the market. Before you go, check this out real quick. So we are giving away all our courses absolutely free of charge. You don't have to take out a credit card. You don't have to join a Patreon group. Everything is free of charge. So let me show you how to get access to this real quickly. If you go to our website, globalmoneyacademy.com, then you will see all our courses down here, which is retirement planning, stock investing, creating an online business, even income generating and real estate investing. All you have to do is click on this sign up button, which will take you to a page where you need to create your profile. Once your profile is completed, we will personalize your profile for you and then you will get access to all our courses absolutely free of charge. And that's not all. You will get access to the spreadsheets of all the stocks we have covered up to now and you will get access to some amazing personalized exclusive online calculators that we have created for our Money Tribe. So join our Money Tribe today by creating a profile on our website, it is absolutely free of charge. And last but not least, remember to click on that red subscribe button and the bell icon to be notified whenever we do more videos like this.